Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Today I find myself in Celebration, Florida, and I want to talk about something as well as uh, take you guys kind of along with me on my day today. So that's what we are going to be doing. Let's just get at it. This is Mike Finder. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it is so nice out here today. It's not too hot the way it's been the last week. It's just been sort of unbearable, but today it's feeling really nice. You know, this has kind of been the park that I come to whenever I want to have a conversation with you guys and not just sit inside of the house. And thank goodness it's not unbearable out here today yet. And of course, right as I say that, the clouds move out from in front of the sun and it gets really hot. But what I want to talk about today is that I have been in Florida for a little over a year now. And before I moved here, I made a I'm leaving Colorado video and it's done kind of okay over the past year or so whenever I made that video. And so I thought it would be kind of an interesting way to follow that video up with a I've lived in Florida for over a year now video. So I moved to Florida mostly because I wanted to leave Colorado and I was kind of stuck between whether I wanted to move to California or Florida. Obviously this was before major inflation hit and I chose to move to Florida because it was cheaper than California. Now, obviously it's not just Florida that's basically being ravaged by the recession or incoming recession, but uh, inflation is killing just about everybody. So when I moved to Florida, the choice was Colorado versus Florida cost of living. And Florida's cost of living was much lower. Now, because of inflation and raising rent prices and all of that stuff, they're sort of comparable now, but if I had moved to California, it would be much more expensive still just because of rent. But inflation and rent hikes aside, I have been absolutely loving living in Florida. It is, in my opinion, one of the best decisions I've ever made, especially for this vlog, even if I haven't been doing that very much lately. I've been loving it here in Florida, and this is why. The main obvious thing is the weather, right? Coming from Colorado, it was basically snowy, wet, and cold nine months out of the year. Here in Florida, it's the total opposite of that. Now, it is sort of like living on the sun for three to four months out of the year, but I feel like that's a good trade-off versus what I had before, which was almost nine months of it being basically unbearable outside. So what you lose in winter and, and seasons, you gain in basically beautiful weather year round. And that was the main thing I think that drove me here. Being somebody that likes to film a lot, it makes a lot more sense for you to be in an area that is nice all the time. So Florida, it's a big, big check mark there, which is why it was sort of a toss up between California and Florida. But again, I think I made the right choice coming to Florida versus California, especially considering how Florida has handled the pandemic versus California. Now, as to why I chose Orlando specifically, I think if you guys have watched me for a little bit, you'll, you'll already know this reason. Uh, Orlando is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, theme park communities in the country, let alone the world. Theme parks are something I'm super passionate about. I love roller coasters, I love dark rides. I really like Disney parks. Universal is something I've come to love since being here. It was a major deciding factor for me for why I chose Orlando specifically. Now, since being here, I've kind of fallen in love with this city. I think I like it more than when I lived in Colorado Springs, but I've only been here a year and I lived in Colorado for many, many years. So the longer I'm here, that opinion may change a little bit. But as for right now, I'm absolutely in love with this city. And because my situation is a little bit different than most people's situations, I was sort of able to choose what city I was gonna move to here in Florida. And I personally think I chose the right one. Now that definitely doesn't mean it's for everybody. I'm just saying for me specifically, this is maybe the perfect place. If I didn't even touch on all the other stuff there is to do here, because outside of theme parks, there's a ton of stuff to do here as well. And that's something I didn't even really know. Mostly what I knew about this place was how big the theme park community is here. Now, with that being said, one of the things we're doing tonight is a pub crawl, but it's a Christmas in July pub crawl, which is gonna be super fun. But this is the kind of stuff that happens here all the time. And when the weather is nice, basically, 
basically all year round. Now there is hurricane season and stuff, which is something entirely different. But when it's nice like this, there's always stuff to do. It's, it's just, it's constant. There's always things happening here in town. Now there are a couple downsides that you cannot look past because not everything is sunshine and rainbows all the time down here, obviously. Florida does have a lot of problems. Right off the top of my head, uh, hurricane season is sort of long here and I have not faced one of those yet. Um, eventually, I'm sure I will. One of the other big factors is traffic. I-4 is always a parking lot. Does not matter what time of day you were on it, it seems like it is always a parking lot. Considering my other option was California, I still feel like I made the right choice. But all of these things are just things you deal with when you move to a new city. But like I said, I think Orlando is the perfect place for me right now, especially right this second in my life. And I just love Florida. I wasn't expecting to love Florida nearly as much as I do. Now, is Florida the right place for you? I can't really answer that question. For me, it's perfect. Uh, for you, you might hate it. I read an article the other day that voted Orlando the sweatiest city in the country. And I have to say, I definitely agree with that. But for me, all of the downsides are far outweighed by the upsides. I can't answer whether this is a good place for you to live or not. You have to answer that question for yourself, but you do need to be prepared for the heat, the traffic, the population. It's really crowded here. If you live on the touristy side of town, you're gonna to be dealing with tourists 24 seven. If you live outside of the touristy part of town, obviously that's not gonna be a big issue for you. But for me, I love all of the things that are happening here all the time. I am falling in love with this city and I could not be happier that I chose Orlando to move to. So those are kind of my initial thoughts here on Orlando. I think everybody has a different opinion about this place. I've talked to a couple different people that live here who've lived here a long time and they love it. I've talked to some other people and they dislike it a lot. I think it's all about your perspective and what you expect whenever you move down here. As far as the rest of the video goes, I'm gonna be vlogging the rest of my day. So if you guys wanna come along with me, that would be cool. Tonight we're gonna to be doing a pub crawl. Apparently it's a Christmas in July pub crawl, which sounds like a lot of fun. So we're gonna be heading over there pretty soon. I'm just gonna vlog the rest of my day. That's what we're gonna be doing the rest of the video. Let's go. I mean, look, no place is perfect, right? But this place is about as perfect as it gets for me. I've seen gas in months. Wouldn't you know it, I just spent all morning talking about how the weather's really nice all the time. And now it's raining. Sadly, this is one of the unfortunate truths of Florida in the summer that it does rain basically daily. So that's something else to keep in mind. Hey guys, um, so the rest of the vlog that I shot is basically unusable. Usually I use this camera that I'm filming on right now. It's a large Canon and the footage always comes out really nice. It's not always the smoothest, but it is not nauseating to watch. The rest of the other night when I filmed this, I shot everything on this small Sony. I bought this last year thinking this will be nice to be able to take into bars and to pub crawls and stuff like I did the other night. Which in theory, its size is good to do because it's a small little point and shoot and you can take this into places and like film yourself and not be super intrusive to everybody around you. Like this giant camera is that I usually take around in other places. The rest of the vlog got ruined because the image stabilization on this $1,200 point and shoot is garbage. I am sure the large DSLR style Sony camera image stabilization is better than it is in this point and shoot. And to be fair, the image that comes off of it is great, but it's not usable if all the footage is nauseating because their image stabilization is so terrible. I shot everything the exact same way I do with my big camera. And the footage that comes off this camera is always really nice, but the footage that came off this is terrible and it ruined the rest of the vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and call the vlog there today. I'm sorry, frankly, I would love to show you everything that I shot because some of the stuff that I did shoot was hilarious and it was really fun, 
but it's not worth making anyone nauseated watching it. And for me, I will never ever stray away from Canon again, and it is all because of this little point and shoot. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this, make sure you hit the like button. If you really liked it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Orlando's fantastic. I love this place. I wish that I had gotten to show you some of the cool stuff we did the other night around Orlando, but because of Sony, that's never gonna happen. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in a few days on a not shaky video because I will not be using the Sony to shoot with. I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Mike Finder out. See ya.